O que é Hey everyone, so it's been a while. Um, I actually wanted to do a more kind of grand type of video for this return, but I found myself putting it off constantly because I just kind of wanted to make it bigger and bigger, and I just figured maybe just doing an actual video would be a good way to just get back into this. So, I have a few things I want to talk about today, actually. Um, this is my first video in about seven-ish years or so, so this is completely unscripted, um, a bit of an update video, but there, there's a lot I want to kind of cover in this video. <clears throat> so, as you can tell by the title, this is a update video slash kind of a my thoughts on the Summer Games Fest announcements from at the time recording this today, um, but not today while it's live, so the, the announcement's from June 8th. So I want to start with, um, with that, I guess, and then I'll end with the update to my channel. So the first thing I want to talk about was um, the show was actually kind of interesting. Personally, there weren't too many announcements I saw that I was super excited for, but the ones I was excited for, I got really pumped for. Um, the first thing I really want to talk about is Sonic. I, that, that, I got pumped for that. Um, Sonic, Sonic Frontiers, I was really excited for, and I loved a lot. Um, but I have not felt this excited for a Sonic game since Mania was coming out. So, I'm pretty excited for Sonic Superstars, a new 2D Sonic game with these really nice, really, really, I mean, next gen from what it looks like, it's just a very, it looks amazing, I'm so excited for it, and it's coming out this year. Um, from what we know, it's going to be, there were, there were um, misconceptions I saw on Twitter, some people thought it would be 70 because of the wrong price listing. But it seems like it's going to be 60, I think, which is still a lot. But honestly, to me, it's worth it. I enjoyed every second of Mania. I bought Mania twice, so I'm definitely going to be picking this one up in the fall. And I thought it was... I, I was um, really surprised to see Fang at the end there, too. I know Mania brought back... Um... <laughs> oh, God. I know Mania brought back Mighty and... Um... I'm forgetting the other one's name right now, but my, my um, my, I'm not a true Sonic fan. I'm sorry. I am a true Sonic fan. Um, but I'm actually watching the trailer again right now as I'm recording this, and I'm, I'm just so excited. It looks so good. A new 2D Sonic game in 2023 with multiplayer, it seems like, too. From the footage we got, there are up to four people, it seems like, can play at the same time. So that's really exciting. And... It seems like there are some interesting little 3D sections as well, which look pretty cool. But I am, I am so pumped. Since I saw the the little museum section in Sonic Origins, I thought that it would be amazing to have a classic Sonic game that looks like that. So it's actually kind of funny. A year later, I'm really glad we're finally actually getting that, and I'm actually really excited for a Sonic game. I'm getting mania vibes from this i know it's a 2d sonic game so it's like you know it's 2d sonic game vibes but it's it's exciting a new 2d sonic game in in the current year when the last one we got was mania um so that's the first thing i really wanted to touch on i'm i'm really pumped for that i'm not going to drag this out for too long though because i want this to be a quick video especially my first video after seven years the next thing um that i'm pretty excited for is spider-man we finally got a date for spider-man and we got our first look at Venom. I'm very excited for that. I got a bit of speculation here. Um, spoilers for the Spider-Man PS4 game, actually. So if you haven't finished that game by now, I'll put a timestamp up on the screen. You can skip to there until I'm done talking about the spoilers. Um, but yeah, um, we got to see Venom. And they were very secretive about his identity. They said it was not Eddie Brock. <laughs> and they wouldn't they wouldn't tell us who. I think it's pretty obvious who, based on the ending of Spider-Man 1. It's kind of funny. It's like how they were super secretive about Doc Ock in 
in Spider-Man PS4. Although, to be honest, that did kind of come as a surprise to me. Because I thought it would have been too obvious. So I didn't think it would happen, and it did. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, personally, I mean, based on the ending of Spider-Man PS4, obviously, I think Venom is, um, Harry Osborn. Which is interesting, because I, I don't think we've ever seen him as Venom before. So that's exciting. Um, as, you know, obviously, if, if you played the ending, you saw Norman going to his secret little lab. You saw Harry there in the tube with all the green liquid and the symbiote, sim symbiote in there. So I think it's pretty obvious who Venom's going to be. And I think that's going to make some, for some um, interesting story um, beats as well. When Peter eventually finds out, because, you know, that's obviously going to happen, I imagine. Um, but it, I, I'm really excited for Spider-Man. Um, it's one of my most anticipated games of the year now, um, now that Tears of the Kingdom is out. Um, but Sonic is also <laughs> a new anticipated game for me. I cannot wait. Um, I'm bringing it back to Sonic. But no, Spider-Man looks great. We got a release date, October 20. No, sorry, October. I got to pull it up. Um, October 20th. I was right. October 20th. Um, pre-order start June 16th. So I'm definitely going to pre-order that. I'm very excited. <clears throat> uh, what else we got? <laughs> I don't really have a lot I want to talk about, to be honest. I mean, those were the big announcements I saw. I'm just really excited. Um, Final Fantasy VII. We got to see that. Um, it was funny because when... Don't ask me. You know, cl clown on me all you want. My friend clowned on me for this. It was kind of funny. But when when Jeff Keighley was talking about the rumors are true and something about a big RPG, I, uh, you know, I st I'm still holding out hope. I thought, oh my god, is it is it time for Mother 3? Which, obviously, I don't even think Nintendo was... Sl I mean, I don't think they participated in, in the stream. They didn't. Um... And if, if they were to announce it, it'd be at a direct. But I, I did genuinely think for a minute, I, you know, I, I had hope there. I was like, oh, my God, the rumors are true. The rumors from the past 15 years. That's what I assumed. Of course, he's talking about the rumors of it being shown today. I mean, I saw it on Twitter these past few days. But no, the Mother 3 part of my brain took over. And I, I you know, I, eh, I thought it would be Mother 3. A part of me did. I also thought it was um, Elder Scrolls VI at one point. Because we're talking about RPGs and genre-defying. It didn't cross my mind that it would be Final Fantasy, though, for some reason. Uh, but that looks great. I mean, I don't know a lot about original Final Fantasy VII. I've literally only played Remake and a little bit of the original on my PS4. But um, I'm excited. I'm definitely going to be picking it up. Um, I plan on playing Crisis Core 2 at some point, because I, I do want to experience this new story. I mean, I started already, back when Remake came out. <clears throat> but, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll play maybe I'll play Original 7 at some point. I know people are going to yell at me for not, you know, one of the best video games of all time. But that that was a pretty big announcement to end the show with, so that, that was good. I'm glad that it was an actual cool announcement for the last one. Um, what else? I mean, there was the whole Nicolas Cage thing in Dead by Daylight. Um, I haven't played that game in years. That was kind of bizarre to see. That was kind of funny. Um, some of the screenshots looked a little, a little odd, I'm not gonna lie. But it was kind of funny seeing Nicolas Cage up on this, this stage there. Very interesting stuff, I gotta say. Um, that's all, like, the news I wanted to talk about. Um... The Prince of Persia game, the first announcement, obviously, that was pretty cool. Um, when, I, when I saw it, I actually thought, oh, is this Prince of Persia? It's like a totally different art style, but I kind of, I kind of, I kind of thought it, and it, it does look a lot of fun. It looks like a lot of fun. Might pick that one up, too, I'm not sure. Um, but that, that's everything for the, the, um, the June 8th Summer Games Fest stream. Um, now, I do know that there are more streams planned. So real quick, I just want to take a minute to talk about some hopes. Um, I'm just looking through the schedule right now. I don't really see a lot of big things. Uh, the two other big ones I see are actually the the Xbox one and the Capcom one. And then actually um, Ubisoft. There's one thing I'm hoping to see at Ubisoft, and it's kind of niche, 
but I would like a release date for the Crew Motor Fest. Um, the new Crew game. Um, my friends clown on me for not playing Forza, but you know, I like the Crew. I play a lot of the Crew too. Motor Fest looks really fun. I know it's supposed to come out this year, so I'll probably be watching Ubisoft for once. Um, as for Capcom, the only thing I'm really hoping for on that stream is um, Mega Man 12. Um, from what I know, they updated a couple domains for, I think, 12 through 15. Mega Man 12 through 15, they renewed the domains, Capcom. And um, I think this year is an anniversary for Ca uh, Mega Man, I'm not sure. So I, I'm, I'm just hoping to get a new Mega Man game at some point. Um, hopefully it could be this year, early next year maybe. But I'll be watching the Capcom stream too, so I'll probably be making a recap video on those as well. Um, and the Xbox One, I'm honestly not sure what to expect from that one. I know Starfield, you know, they're, they're really promoting Starfield. I personally don't have as much of an interest in Starfield. I got let down one too many times by these big open world space games. Um, but... Um, there was something interesting that I did see happen, um, which I assume was supposed to be announced at the Xbox show. Um, the Persona 3 remake was leaked. Um, if you want to find that, it's probably on Twitter still, the video, unless it got taken down at this point. Uh, Persona 3 Reloaded. My friend sent me that. Atlas actually posted it to their Instagram early. Somebody grabbed the trailer and put it on Twitter, and it, it's looking great. I played the original Persona 3 a couple years ago. I really enjoyed it. And I'm, I'm pretty pumped for the remake. It's It's got a really nice facelift. Uh, a, a very much needed one, to be honest. It's a very dated game. Um, but, you know, I really enjoyed it. So I'm excited that we're getting a remake of um, one of my one of my favorite Persona games um, since I've played it. Another thing I am hoping to see at Xbox, and the only other thing I could really think of, um, is probably the Elder Scrolls, because I know... Microsoft owns Bethesda, so all the Bethesda stuff's probably going to be there. Um, that's about it, though. I'm I'm not sure. There's also the the future game show on June 10th. Might watch that. Seems like it could be good. So I'll I'll, I'll probably try to make update videos on these. The PC gaming show. Not not sure what could be there. I mean, maybe a Valve announcement. There are rumors. Still rumors. We got more Half-Life rumors. There were. Um, there's this, there are photos on Twitter of one of the voice actors, um, the Valve voice actors in the booth again, notably known for um, Sniper in, in Team Fortress 2, but he's done voices in uh, Half-Life, Left 4 Dead, just various voices. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm just throwing stuff out there, but maybe we could get some sort of Valve announcement. I don't think they'd announce a Team Fortress 2 update, although we know that is coming, but I, I think it'd be really cool to see a a new Valve game, one of the one of the many rumored Valve games, but who knows if they're gonna do that. Um, that's about it. I mean, as everybody else is, I'm hoping for a Nintendo Direct sometime this month as well. Um, that'd be cool to see, especially because you know it'd be the first year they really didn't do a, a stream around E3 time. If if they don't do one, I'm expecting one. But um, if if they do one, I'll definitely have a video up on that too. And that's about everything for the, the Summer Games Fest stuff. So now, real quick before I end the video, I just kind of want to want to get into a quick update about my channel. So, um, as some of you already know, as some of you might have noticed, um, I've been streaming almost every week. I've been trying to stream on my YouTube channel almost every weekend, and I've been really enjoying it. That's kind of the way I've been kind of slowly getting back into YouTube, because streaming is the easiest thing. Uh, a lot easier than just editing a video, recording a video, editing a video. Um, so, you know, I figured streaming's an easy way to start up. So I've been streaming. I plan on continuing to do that. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, and I've been planning on getting back into YouTube for the past couple months now. Uh, for a while, it really wasn't something I wanted to do. There were a few... I was very on and off with it. There were times I wanted to get back into it. I've had videos. I scrapped them. I had new videos. I scrapped them. Um, and I never really kind of released any. So I'm, I'm... Part of the reason I'm releasing this one now is so I could just kind of have one out there, you know? 
and kind of get the ball rolling. So I do have a few videos planned. Um, hopefully I'll have one up by the end of this month, a specific one I have in mind. There's also too many games, a convention that I'm going to later this month, June 23rd, that I plan on vlogging and uploading to my channel sometime that weekend. So if anything, you know, if, if the one video doesn't come out by the end of the month, there should hopefully be that video. And I really just want to get into YouTube. Um, I'm not really sure what I kind of want to do with this channel. I want to do a lot of gaming stuff because it's still a huge passion of mine. It's always been. Um, but I also kind of just want to do whatever I want in a way. So mainly, probably mainly video game stuff and vlogs. Because vlogs, you know, fun. Vlogs seem fun when I just do fun things. Maybe I'll just record them, upload them to my channel. Um, I might want to try doing, I don't know, game reviews or just gaming related content. Because I haven't done that in forever. And I do miss it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I do miss it. So, um, I do plan on getting back into YouTube, and I, I think I'm going to stick with this channel. It's just easier. I was kind of thinking of maybe starting a new channel, but I, I kind of ultimately decided against that, because everything's kind of tied to this name, and I, I, I have, like, nostalgia with this name, right? Um, so, I do, I plan on making more videos um, this year. A lot of Nintendo videos, a lot of gaming videos, maybe vlogs, maybe music stuff, just just general stuff, whatever I feel like doing. I'm not really trying to stick to any specific schedule or any specific um, genre, because I feel like that's how it becomes not fun very quickly. So I just kind of want to do what's fun for me and what I enjoy. So just definitely keep a lookout for more videos, um, more streams, more videos, more more just content hopefully over these next few months and hopefully it'll stay consistent um so that's that's really the plan here um i got a discord server i'll put the link in my description twitter is in the description all the socials will be in the description even though i don't really use i, I mainly just use twitter and discord so I got a Discord server, I'll link that, my Twitter will be in the description, I'll, I'll put my Instagram in there even though I don't use it as much. And um, yeah, I mean, as for just life updates, I don't know, I've been busy with school, finally on, on summer break, which is a perfect time to start videos. So I plan on trying to do that a lot this summer. Uh, this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to end this here, but keep a lookout for more videos. and. Um, I'll see you hopefully later this month. Be sure to um, check out my Twitter for updates. And if you want, join the Discord server. I'd love to talk with you guys. Um, I got a, a, pretty, a pretty nice community in there that I'd love to grow and just chat with you all. So this is the end of the video because I'm dragging it out now. I'm not really sure what else to say. Just want to do a quick update and a Summer Games Fest update. Um, and I will see you guys next video.